Hey, it's Jeff Canato with another NLB Mini. Today I want to hip you guys to a couple of really awesome comics that came out this week. These are two relatively new series, but I think they're some of the best series going right now. Certainly some of the best super-powered, superhero, cool, super stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Got a little super phlegm. Uh... But I don't know if these are on everybody's radar, so I want to put them on your radar. The first is Starlight by Mark Miller and Goran Parlov. This is a brilliant premise. This is, this is the idea that what if a Flash Gordon type of a dude who got transported to another dimension was a, was a hero there, you know, was a fighter pilot here, but went through a wormhole, went to another dimension, fought all these crazy alien species, fell in love, did all that swashbuckling stuff, then came back to Earth a hero and nobody believed anything he said. Nobody believed that he did any of that stuff. Then he gets old here, has a life as a mundane average Joe, uh, and in his elderly years, someone from that other dimension comes back and says, we need you again. Brilliant idea. Uh, this is issue three that came out this week. I really recommend you guys read this book. Find the first three issues, read them. It's spectacular. The art, Goran Parlov, ugh. It might be my favorite art in comics right now. It's so, so simple and evocative and awesome. And each character has a unique look and feel. And the design of the alien world is awesome and retro and throwback, but sort of modern as well. It's it's really, really great. And uh, issue three is the first where uh, our hero actually gets back to the uh, to the alien world. No spoilers, but it's awesome to see him being awesome <laughs> he gets to actually kick some ass even as an old dude uh and and it's it's just wild fun inventive smart storytelling i'm a fan of mark miller when he's good he's great and he's great here um it, it, this is an easy to recommend book buy it buy it buy it it's fantastic the other is avengers oh what is it <laughs> my brain brain isn't working avengers undercover avengers undercover so, Avengers Undercover is the sequel to Avengers Arena. We have uh, a pack of sort of misfit kids that had gone through Arcade's Arena. Uh, and th this book is by uh, Dennis Hopeless and Kev Walker. The is issue, I believe, what is it? I'm looking at my thing. Issue 4 came out this, this week. One of the most smartly written, clever, insightful commentaries on what's happening right now. This is the book that if I was 12 again and into comics like I was at age 12, this would be my very favorite book on the planet because it's got that spirit that the X-Men had in the Claremont years. It's got that, it's got that sort of um, subversive speaking for the teenager in all of us mythos. It, it, it feels authentic to that voice, to the teenage voice. It's got angst. It's got... Uh, it's got humor, which is really super important. It's got fantastic art. It has uh, it has a really clever storyline. So these these are kids that sort of got famous on the internet for going through arcades or uh, you know murder world, and now they are sort of tempted by the dark side, i.e., are they going to become super villains or not? This issue, the S hits the F. They do some crazy stuff. Uh, they go to jail. It's a real, like, what are they going to do? Which side are they going to cling to? Everybody speaks in a, a really interesting debate. Like, the in, in, internal debate between the team is fascinating and well-reasoned. Uh, and everybody's got a unique position. Their powers are really cool and different. Um, this is that book that I think more people need to be talking about because it's um, it's really it's really got that spirit of young comic book energy that I loved when I was a kid. So pick it up. It's only four issues in. You got to read all four. If you want to go back and read the uh, arena book, I, I would recommend that as well, but you don't need to because uh, it really recaps everything that happened there. It gets you up to speed real quick. The first couple of issues, you've got beautiful art, really interesting characters. Get it. These are two of the, I think, best books published right now. There you go. Uh, this NLB Mini is the last of the week, but we'll be back next week, and I hope you subscribe and like the channel. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time.